cancer overall, especially if RQ Hoshi decide to go on something bulkier in the jungle here. Um, so that's definitely something we could be seeing from the side of Fireflux here. With Vexana banned out now, we still need Mage. You said it earlier, Roar is still open. Um, other than that, man, we're running out of ideas for mid lane. I think RQ <laughs> Hoshi might have to put Fovius on mid at this point. Um, Go. Mm. Oh my god, I was right. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. Mm. Rome Arlot. Rome Arlot. Mid, mid Phobius. Mid Phobius. Or maybe it's going to be Jungle Phobius? Could. I mean, that's Could be wild. Jungle Phobe. Or Jungle Natan. I have no clue. It could this be is, Jungle this is anything. Spicy. <laughs> They're all over the place right now. You got three fighters and, and Natan on the field right now. Um. Jungle Fovius could happen. I just think it's kind of slow. Um, mm -hmm. <sighs> Spicy. I, Fireflux I, needs two picks now. I think Xborg might be the might be the way to go here. Xborg, yeah. I mean, Xborg could be a good exp here. I mean, they could even rock the Terizla again. They just need something a little bit tankier. I again, Rosa picking up uh, the Aurora. I mean, that that's. That's CC that they need it, right? Like paired that with the Ruby and then Ruby XP. They go. Yeah. So great flex. I like that. You were saying this on previous games. Be available to flex that Ruby if need be. So baiting yeah. the 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 Tigreal until the end. Wow. Because here's the thing, where did they lose last time when they put when they picked up the Benedetta? The problem was yeah. that when Ruby was the roam for Fireflux, Ruby was not able to peel or protect Sunshine or Rosa. This time, this time, Alien's gonna be able to hold the, I mean, uh, Apex 47 is gonna be able to hold the front line with that TIG, and Ruby can kind of play the mid of her team a bit more, kind of rotate from the front line to the back line and be able to stop them. But there, four fighters, Four fighters. They finally locked in a Martis for the side of RQ. This looks like a Knights of Fate from like uh, <laughs> NACT. Uh, <laughs> this looks like a Knights of Fate composition from NACT like last season or two seasons ago. Four fighters <laughs> and a Marksman. RRQ <laughs> risking it all at match point. Definitely not the most down-to-earth composition. They do have counters. They do have answers. But is this, uh, you know, un this abnormal draft going to really work? Is it going to be glued enough together enough? I would hope, and I, I feel like this is what we're going to have to figure out coming into this match. Again, I, I think again, it's another wild draft by RRQ and a little bit more of a straightforward one by Fireflux. So again, do they get out draft because of this wild pick? Maybe, maybe meta, meta setters. I, I mean, four fighters is quite wild into this comp. Again, the Fireflux, I mean, they're, they're looking, they're looking good from my opinion, you know, and I, I kind of was rocking the RQ, but I think right now I'm going to go back to textbook and I'm <laughs> going to just say Fireflux is kind of winning this one right now. Fireflux's draft is definitely the more, uh, the more, just the more normality, it's right? It's it's textbook. Yeah. It's simple. We did not we did not get crazy for match point. We did not get crazy for 120 grand. RQ, I think RQ. All right, we're gonna. If they want to do this. We're gonna have to try to beat them down with something a little bit different. They do have rotation. They do have the surprise factor here. They have aggression. You have the Benedetta to be able to get to the back line. You have a lot of answers. The question is, is are those answers gonna mesh well together? There's a reason why you have a mage. There's a reason why you have a marksman. There's a reason why you have a Rome and all of these different heroes meant for their roles. But RQ trying to bake the break the boundary, and that was a new entrance to the land of dawn. There, <laughs> we haven't seen that one yet. Coming in from the top of the chessboard, RQ up against Fire Flux Esports. One match to rule them all, and Brusco all ready to get an aggressive. Ooh, did he get it or not? Apex though, also with the aggression. Ooh. Gonna walk right gonna into Brusco on. there. Brusco able to get the first blood. 
That's huge. That's huge. Now, kind of breaking some things down. We see the Arlots on the room. Fovius is in the mid. And, uh, I mean, again, could be a good play here. I feel like RQ, what they really need to do is do what they're they're doing right now. Just keep the harass up. Harass TNZ. Do exactly what Fireflux did to you, RQ. Now, the side of Fireflux, they got to keep... RQ at bay at this point. They have the mobility. They have the Martis. So RQ's looking for that early game, uh, the snowball. So Fireflux, if they can stop that, keep them at bay. I think that's their win conditions here in the early stage. I do want to say that when it comes to a uh, first turtle, RRQ might have the advantage here with so many fighters. Fighters are going to kind of have a nice early game punch. They're going to have a nice early game spike. You have the smartest. You have plenty of CC on the side of RQ. Um, Fireflux might want to fight elsewhere unless TNZ wants to go for kind of a cheeky steal here. Um, Rosa still hasn't hit level four yet. May not have it for the first turtle. Yeah. The biggest thing that I am seeing here is we have a lot of purifies picked up by RQ, right? So they're looking to get out of Rosa's uh, sets. They're looking to get out of Apex's sets. Same with Alien. I mean, there's just so many opportunities that they could get caught. RQ looking to take this first turtle, though. Able to secure it with no problem. Apex in trouble. Genzi doesn't even go for it. Knows that it's, nope, we're not even going to try that. They got four big boys Discipline. sitting around the turtle right now. Yeah, and I think it's a smart play. I think Fireflux yeah. needs to focus on the off lanes right now. Ooh. Wait a second, Apex 47 get in trouble once again, and Skylar flickers and picks up the kill there. Right back to base. Where? How did he do that? The man is a mad call. <laughs> Ends up in gold lane in a matter Ooh. of seconds, but comes in just quick enough to find that kill. Rosa's reaction speed is just just too much. Flickering out of that, being able to dodge two of RQ is huge. Again, I think they do need to put some pressure onto Rosa. I like the lane clear. TNZ able to steal the Lithal Wander there. That's huge. Again, we I, we need to see the scaling by Erad. So next turtle might be falling into there. Skylar, I think he's doing pretty well in his lane, right? He's already 1-0-0. He's got a little bit of an advantage on Sunshine. But again, that goes to show that the carry is that late game hero in the marksman lane. So I, we're looking at early stage with snowballing by RQ and a, a little bit of a late game for Fireflux. Uh, I feel like that's what they're going to be aiming for. Yeah, Fireflux needs to find some momentum, though. I think if Skylar mm -hmm. is able to, if Skylar is able to just farm freely here, the Natan is going to be a problem. This is like funneling at its best. It's like old school fighter fighter offline. You know, they're just <laughs> going to pocket around Skylar here. You're going to have four fighters sitting around Skylar as he sits in the middle of this team, just causing mayhem, and Fireflux is going to have trouble finding a way to break Ooh. through. Apex 47, able to land the implosion and get the knockoff up onto Arad and Brusco. Rosa, looking for the Glacier, able to get the freeze on a Brusco, and Tienzi picks up the kill, but now Apex in trouble. Target locked from Okta with the Demonic Force, able to find Apex 47 there. Another turtle should go over the side of our cube, but Alien doesn't want to let it happen. Tienzi also making his way in with the dash, looking for the damage. A nice stun, and Tienzi able to find it. Now Tienzi on to the next target. Our Q forced to back up. Off. This is the aggression that we needed to see from Fireflux, right? Like, you were looking for it, and they want it still more. Oh! Irad able to just get away, but TNZ takes the purple. That's what I like to see from <laughs> Fireflux. Like you said, finally answering back and evening the gold. All I can say is that Fireflux... They, they always seem to somehow gain control over the jungle and keep them at bay. Kind of looking at some items. We see penetration being picked up by Rosa. So going to be dealing a decent bit of damage here. Uh, we also do see TNZ picking up the Blade of Hep there. And that is the early game pressure. But look oh, at this. The pushback from Apex 47. Bruce go in trouble. Going to get taken out. Sunshine picking up the kill. Now matching Skylar. 1-0-1. Fireflux finding momentum at five minutes. Everyone's got their oh, first no. items locked in, and that's when they knew they could strike. I'm so surprised that they didn't attempt to engage in that, but hey, 
Again, take it, just take it slow is what it seems like RRQ's plan. Even though I feel like they need to maybe engage a little bit more and take some riskier plays here. They do have a Martis on their hands, so we'll see. It might be all up to Skylar at this point. Ooh, you can tell Apex is, is searching right now. He's hunting for that implosion. He's protecting Sunshine here. He knows what RQ is trying to do. Sunshine playing is safe as well. I think Firefox knows this. As long as we don't fall really behind here, we're kind of Rosa. winning. Um, because eventually this four-man fighter comp could fall off. Rosa in a little bit of trouble, though. Rad going to be able to pick up the kill there. One more hit. No! Oh. Rosa gets away. Apex saves the day. Octa going to move on to him, and even if he goes down. But no, Rad still finds it. Two kills, Alien. a double for Rad. Tienzi should be able to get him as well. Coming back, but now Tienzi in trouble. Bruce going banana on the hunt, but Tienzi gets back to base safely. Speedy Light Wheel comes out from Sunshine. Banana going to be able to walk out of the jungle safely, but RQ Hoshi crack the mid-tier three. The mi they they crack it, that and the bottom tier. So they took two, tur two turrets and were able to secure two kills there. They did lose uh, one on their side, so I think that's a win on their part. Taking out that mid turret, and look, they're already engaging onto the blue buff onto TNZ while also the turtle is here. My guess is that it uh, looks like Skylar was able to take that blue buff. So again, neutral objective securing on our Q side is just insane right now. Ooh, Rad able to get the turtle. There it is. Bruce Go though dashes in. The rest of RQ trying to enclose onto him. Alien in trouble as well, dashing away the Nonic Force, keeps on finding him. Another shot. Okta looking for one more. RQ Hoshi though decides to back off, not gonna overcommit. They got Look the turtle, sunshine. putting on more pressure ah. and able to secure it. I thought Sunshine was maybe going to have a little bit of a flank play, but Ooh. Skylar! <laughs> TNZ finally catches him lacking in the bot lane. Brusco going to try to come in. TNZ might be lacking himself here. Okta <laughs> wants to lock on. TNZ scared to Ooh. use a dash. Okta doesn't have the demonic force, though. TNZ knows it now. He knows he's going to be able to get away safely. Alien here to help out. Rosa coming in. Up, but up at the top side. Sunshine finds Banana. Brusco going to get frozen. Alien causing some mayhem. And here comes Arad. It's a slugfest, boys and girls. And they're ready to fight. Put on a show for us. Alien taking a little bit of damage. Okta with the demonic force. Apex waiting. Sidestep. Step, step. Looking for a possible strike here. <laughs> but Alien going to go down. Apex 47 doesn't have the implosion to fight there. I mean, this is just blows by blows from both sides at this point. Right now, Fireflux definitely fighting back, taking the picks where they can. If RQ really needs to focus on Sunshine at this point, like the scaling on the carry is going to be dangerous. Paired with Apex, Apex is just coming clutch. And so is Alien. To be honest, like TNZ has been able to escape situations that he normally shouldn't be able to. The final slash by Brusco going wide sometimes. So again, these little mistakes are playing into Fireflux's favor. Most definitely. I mean, Fireflux, yeah. And as long as as long as RQ is not extremely ahead of them. I still feel like Fireflux has the better late game here. Um, they have answers to RQ just like RQ's answers to them. Um, and the thing about RQ's composition here is with all of these fighters, with the way that Skylar kind of wants to play, RQ Hoshi is going to be forced to kind of group up here and there. Um, and that's going to give advantage to Apex 47. It's going to give advantage. Oh my god! Oh. TNZ! Time after time, he's pulling a banana right now, hanging out of the backside. It's okay if he goes down, but he wants to sidestep. He goes down to the decimation. Arad able to pick up the kill with no retribution. That could be bad for Fireflux, though. Lord is still on the map. The rest of Fireflux going to have to pick up the pieces that TNZ left for them. Sunshine able to get some huge freeze and outplays. Gets the play. Oh. Three members down to the side of RQ Hoshi. Arad now going up against Alien, but he's not going to be able to get away. Rosa comes in and takes him out. That's four down for RQ. Skyler finally back on the map, but Fireflux taking control. Fireflux is looking just like AP Brin at this point. Every time the first Lord's coming up, they're just gaining so much ground. And being able to secure this first Lord and taking four of RQ is going to be troublesome 
for our Q. Again, you gotta give it up to Apex. Apex paired with Rosa with that frigid glacier and the implosion oh was just too export could much for our Q to take. Ah. The ultra instinct is real right now for Rosa. Brusco now in trouble as well. Rosa put another kill into the pocket. Fire Flux relentlessly advancing right now, not looking to give RQ any time to breathe. Yeah, this is rough. RQ really needed that snowball early on to be able to scale. I, again, Okta doesn't have a death. It's kind of looking like just like last match, Okta's going to have to start popping off as well. Uh, TNZ just keeps finding Skylar, so I feel like if RQ wants to stay in this game, Skylar is going to have to stop getting caught by TNZ. I have a fire flock, man. They're going to take all tier twos. Lord won't get the crash, but we're looking very similar to game number two. Fireflux breaks it down to nothing but inhibitors on the first Lord. RQ Hoshi, man. Oof. It's like, who do they I, even go for? Because they, they got to worry about TNZ. They got to worry about Sunshine now. They have to worry about Rosa. It's a tough call. And they, they have the players that can kind of pick people off. But if they split up too much, they get taken down. And if they group up too much, they have to worry about the implosion and the, implosion and the I'm offended and the glacier. Yeah, right now, I feel like RQ really just needs to. They have the Benedetta. I like what their, their approach is now. Do some split pushing. Where's that tactical, you know, positioning that we've seen from Banana in the first game? I feel like with that, with baiting out utility from Fireflux before full frontal engages, RQ could turn this around, but they have to do that. They keep running into every ultimate that Fireflux has face first with and they just think they're not going to have any repercussions yeah i will say this is the difference one of the differences between the time that we saw banana able to do that was exactly what we said when we saw the draft is this time they have the tig reel on apex 47 and they have alien in the back line and they have rosa also kind of protecting sunshine here so it's very tough Ooh. for banana to find any kind of angle here <laughs> this time, this situation. Fire Flux are the hunters, man. I think they just have that card. Banana's not going to be able to do what he did last time. I, I feel like the communication right now from Fire Flux, they, they've kind of read the map at this point. They know that Banana's just kind of... They don't know where he's at, but they have an anticipation that he's in this bush, and Apex <laughs> is watching it with a passion, and they found it. This is going to be a little tough situation here. Yes. Do they go for it? Conceal oh, play. The conceal play comes in. But not today, Banana. Not today. Taken oh. out. That's going to be a big advantage for this Lord. But RQ isn't going to let us stop him. Alien, TNZ, Sunshine chipping away as Alien tries to zone out a rad. Just keep him backed up. Fireflux going to change pace. TNZ moving position. Taking a lock onto the purple buff. Back to Lord now. Waiting for the rest of the team to come in. A nice reset to buy the team some time so that they can make it a 5v4. Oh Look at the damage God. on off to Sunshine. Speedy Light Wheel deletes him down. Skyler forced the entropy back instead of forward. RQ got to go running back to the bases. Fireflux takes another Lord. Man, I, the Just the... The passion that they've had from last game, bringing it into this game, RQ definitely seems to be down in the dumps, and Fireflux are just, they are roaring and ready and on fire at this point. Another Lord going to be barreling down RQ's lane, kind of taking a look at some of the items again. Uh, I mean, Nathan's almost online, but Sunshine is just overall controlling the damage at this point fully built for this next lord push i think rq they can defend it all of them are alive they still have all of their tier threes but again this is going to be an enhanced lord it will crash into a tower and the base will be broken open and fireflux looking to take as much as they possibly can here trex all right, let's see how they do this. Lord going to be a little delayed on the boss side as Fireflux pushes in on the mid and top. Waiting for that connection. Fireflux going to continue to chip things away. RQ Hoshi position themselves behind the bottom inhibitor. They're going to try to chip down the Lord. Lord's taking a step backward, forced to go out for that minion, a slight <laughs> mishap. 
Not able to get the full push in. Skylar able to melt it down. Fireflux have breaking have broken one. Look at for uh, Alien coming around the oh backstop no. for the I'm offended. Rad goes down. The glacier falls on to two. Fireflux looking for more damage. Rosa does fall though as Fireflux continues to look for more members. Brusco gonna be the next one. Skylar keeping a nice range and doing good chip damage, keeping Fireflux out of the base. It's a two for one plus an inhibitor over to the side of Fireflux. Fireflex once again coming out on top. A lot of uh, like immortalities were baited out of Fireflex. So RQ possibly looking for some type of an advantage. I like it. I mean, they're attempting to maybe make a play on the left lane again. <sighs> I mean, they're having a tough, a tough time here. If they're able to shut down Sunshine and maybe keep TNZ at bay, that could be their win conditions, but you can already see he's feeling out the zone. RQ pushed back against the wall. Will they become the predator or will they become the prey? Definitely the question on all of our minds. With the 8,000 gold lead, it's going to be very, very tough for RQ to withstand this. They had a composition that kind of needed to snowball that, in my eyes, would eventually fall off. I felt like RQ might have had the early game. And then eventually there would be this tipping scale by not having a huge bursting mage, by not having, you know a bursty jungle or even actually a utility jungle because the thing about the artist is it's utility and it has this mm. great early game snowball effect but it is not super viable at 20 21 22 minutes in mm. and that's the territory we're getting to right now and Fireflux has already reached uh -oh. the point that they uh -oh. need to. Sunshine. Uh-oh. Conceal play, though. No! Rad Octa not able to find anything. Sunshine able to sidestep and get away. All RQ is able to do is reset the Lord of Tienzi. Gets the I'm offended. On to Brusco there. RQ still holding the distance. They are bulky enough to take some shots to the face. Does look like they're going to send... Banana back to the bottom lane, clear the wave. RQ not giving up just yet. I think they know this is their chance. Arad has to pull a rabbit out of a hat here. Has to do something crazy if they want to survive. Yeah, and they know that they're not going to engage here. TNZ now stacking up the red and the purple. They've just baited out a decent amount from RQ Hoshi. Uh, they just don't have the concealed play. Skylar's ultimate's down. And again, I mean, just a little bit of this bait is what they need. Apex is just so good at finding everyone. He just can read the map so well against RQ. And keep our eyes on TNZ as well, hiding out in this bush. He's going to go clear the waves. Banana finally looking for a position into the backside. No eyes on Banana just yet. Going to come down to can't. I mean, does RQ even want to really? I feel like you mentioned earlier they need to try to find an angle, and they're just coming at Fireflux head on. Maybe looking for a bait. Maybe looking for someone to overstep. But Fireflux is not taking that risk. They're not taking that step at all. They're going to start chunking in onto this Lord now. Rad still kind of playing the fiddle here, back and forth. Fireflux not fully committing either. We're about two minutes in onto this Lord dance, Alien. Finally gets a lock on onto a rat. A rat still able to back up. Back and forth they go, G. Yeah, they're burning the Lord now. Keep him at bay. Okay. Can E-Rat get in there? They can't. No. A concealed play. Oh, but Bruce going to the backside with a final slash. A huge implosion, though. Onto two members. Sunshine taking a lot of damage. Banana trying to lock on. And in comes Okta. Pops that immortality onto Sunshine. Still looking for a finish. Skylar flickers in and finds Sunshine. the kill. RQ finally doing something major here. Find a kill. Rad, though, taking a little bit too much. Fireflux response by finding the jungler from RQ Hoshi. RQ back to base now. It's four against four. They lost the Lord, they find Sunshine, and they lose a rad. Do you think it's a good trade for RRQ? I mean, I think so, right? This is a little bit of the breathing room they needed. I mean, 20, 21 seconds until Sunshine comes back. Again, not having your marksman for a Lord push is going to be rough. Uh, they, I mean, they have TNZ, so they still have damage, but I think they're lacking just a little bit, and I think RQ oh. can breathe once again. TNZ in trouble. TNZ in trouble. Demonic Force locked on. They're trying to slow him down. Ooh. The sidestep. Ooh. TNZ oh. with the flare, oh. the flicker, the dash, the moves, oh. and the grooves. 
Octa, not today, sir. But RQ does do that perfectly. We still got to give it to him. They're able to melt down the Lord and survive another one. And the freeze comes on to Octa. Shut down for Sunshine. I love it. This is what we came here for. It's match point still. And you can't tell exactly who's going to win. TNZ was dancing on Octa right there. That was such a, That was like such a good play by TNZ. Able to dodge every single play. Whoa. But another one happening. Alien comes in with a big I'm offended on Brusco. Apex 47 taking a bit too much damage. The Glacier comes down. The freeze, the frozen, errat, eradicated. Now Apex 47 goes down. Skylar able to unload. A big suppression on a TNZ. TNZ still on the map, but Skylar finally finds him. Skylar goes down. No, Skylar's still up. Brusco drops. Three for two. Alien melted down. The damage from Skylar is finally there. We're 21 minutes in, and Fireflux finally has to be careful about how they intrude on RRQ's base. Man, this is definitely a do-or-die situation for both teams. Match point. Kind of look at some of these plays that happened here. We've seen Bruski go into the back line. Immortality popped, but does fall to Alien. And we see oh. that Skylar with the triple kill. Able to take out all three of Fireflux to secure that triple kill. Huge for RQ. Again, they were able to properly defend that Lord. Take quite a bit from Fireflux and now have that late game control even though Okta was I I you know I feel like the the play that Okta did was kind of just to give our Hugh more breathing room right again I like it I like it TNZ wasn't able to you know push the Lord now our Q looking to take the Lord yeah, they're not wasting any time at Apex with the conceal play. Looking for a rat here, just trying to zone him back. He gets the implosion. Damage still not there. Tienzi in trouble. Bruce goes locked onto him. Petrify onto Sunshine. Sunshine forced to run away. Banana might be able to catch him here. Eye for an eye. Sunshine Ooh. back and forth. Looking for the outplay here. Banana goes down. Still has the immortality. RQ forced to go back to base because minions are closing in. Alien looking locked down onto Brusco here. Brusco looking for the outplay himself. The man is gone, though. Alien finds the kill. Two members of RQ Hoshi down. Fireflux could take a free lord. Yeah, great play by the sentry there. Definitely shows quite a bit of Fireflux out. Oh, no. Nice freeze, lands onto a rat. I think the rat out here. That's it, immortality pops. Jeez. One more hit and no retribution for the side of RRQ. It's a 60 second death counter. We're 23 minutes in where every oh second my. counts. But Skyler finds Rosa. The damage from Skyler right now, he is their only hope. Can they defend one more Lord push? Can they turn the tables? I mean, they definitely need Rosa at this point, and you can kind of see they're baiting the Lord, trying to allow the time to tick down onto Rosa. They need a full team push to go here. I still don't know if Rosa is going to be there. I think they were waiting for that wave, the wave, wave of minions yeah. to come out, so the Lord didn't come out with the minions, and that does give them a little bit of time. If they're able to hold this out, this could be the final push. RQ looking to hold on. Ah, oh, this is such a tough play. <laughs> we got to say the Skylar definitely has the damage. No boots are available. Sold everything there. So as well as on Sunshine. Woo! RQ. Yep. Are you going to become One. the Predator? <laughs> We'll see. Can the King of Kings take down Fireflux here? Fireflux is going to make a name for themselves, continuing to build the hype around Turkey. But look the at the damage. melting on the Skylar there. Are we going to go another Lord? Alien getting chipped away. Fireflux cannot enter the house of RRQ right now. They're going to need to find a play elsewhere. The chokehold is too much to deal with. The damage of Skylar is unleashed right now. Fireflux backing off. I mean, this is kind of leading into RQ's position. I do like the, the play that Fireflux is trying to do. Get RQ out of the base. We need to make plays, and mortalities are there. You have three of them picked up by Fireflux. They just need one key play. If they're able to capture Skylar, that is going to be the fall of RQ. But man, what a defense.
that they are playing, Ooh. and I am offended. Not able to utilize the retry comes out on an alien, but again, just not enough. They're tr they are just they're trying to get something here. <laughs> yeah, they want a rad man. A rad has to be more careful if he gets taken out. They need that retribution, right? And a rad has a wonderful retribution. As long as he can gain position, he can compete for the 50-50, right? He can definitely compete for it and come out on top of it a lot. The problem is, is he hasn't been able to step into the Lord pit. But now we're at a point where RQ Hoshi has scaled. I'll swallow my words because right now they have a decent late game. It's still tough for them, though, to find the right positions. And if Arad gets caught off, they're not going to be able to compete for Lords. It is true. And I, I feel like what they and it's kind of hard for RQ right now to make a backdoor play right just because the turrets are there but if they're able to get a team wipe i feel like that could be a play right the turrets won't even matter this far into the game we're looking at somewhere around like 70 second death penalties so that is why so many immortalities are being picked up by both sides and i feel like they're trying to bait it out so that they all have Im immortalities rosa picking up rapid boots by the way keep an eye on that they want to be quick they want to be able to rotate i feel like they're just there to cc at this point uh because they're they're gonna allow shun uh, sign to scale here tnz Kind of controlling a little bit of the right of the map. Now, the biggest thing that RRQ is facing is that the minions are just so much stronger for area or for uh, fire flux. And that just goes to show that having all of your inhibitors down is a tough play, a tough thing to deal with. Oh, Rad's about to walk into Apex. That's a lot of damage. Oh, no, not like this. Oh, God. Immortality drops. Arad will not be able to escape this one. Wait, maybe he what? will. He's back into it. One more hit. No alien finds him. Brusco going to be the next to drop. Does still have an immortality up. Able to back up Skyler. Looking for an escape here. They're trying to collapse onto him. Fire Flux. Looking for the next target. Octa drops next. RQ Hoshi losing members by the second. Immortality pops for Banana. Fire Flux now finally Jeez. on top of this game. Skyler are still up though there's still damage to be reckoned with can he make the miracle play here fireflux looking to claim a victory here they moved on to the base and that is it a new era Fire for turkey Flux! a new team on top of the pendulum fireflux looking to make a name for themselves and today they have done it turkey man what a game